Today we're going to look at these new Eduard decals as well as going into some basic weathering techniques on the Zero. Now one of these, give this another go. I tried this peeling technique on the Spitfire and it really didn't work well. But I was pleasantly surprised to just put in some basic uh, Mark Fit Strong and on the tail this decal just peeled right off. It worked great. I like the result. So the process that I used was just mark fit strong underneath and then just slide the decal on. Sorry about the autofocus, but these decals were a little tricky to get into place. Probably just should have masked them and painted them red, but whatever. Once they were in place, I used a Q-tip or cotton bud to just remove some of the excess. And then I kind of reuse it into more of a rolling uh, motion to just kind of press it into its recesses and in place. Same process for the other, just uh, mark fit strong and then put the decal into place and then use a cotton bud to remove the excess. So since Edward accidentally sent me two sets of decals, I want to do a little bit more testing on this. So enter the mule. I've got dark gray that's a gloss coat and then the light gray is just straight matte paint. So I did the same exact process as before, but this is after just two hours. And you can see it's just not really adhering. It's just not ready. And more fail. It almost even was stretchy at this point. It was kind of weird. So definitely want to give it more than two hours. The next test is where I'm going to pick up after 24 hours. Yeah, so take note of the stretch that goes on here. That might be useful for something in the future, but I can't think of it at the moment. So now after 24 hours, let's see how we got it. So I'm just using a piece of masking tape to lift it off and it's working great. In fact, my recommendation is to use the masking tape and avoid the tweezers. That's where you can kind of damage the paint. Unless you want some kind of weathering effect as you'll see in the next roundel. There's also something with this process that is just oddly satisfying. Kind of reminds me of the days when you're a kid and you would put a bunch of Elmer's glue on your hands, let it dry, and then peel it off. Kind of has the same feel to it. It's just way fun. So a little bit of marks, but I think that's a pretty cool effect.
So the next test that I want to do is see if removing that film does anything. So I put a flat coat over it and I have no clue which ones I actually peeled and which ones I didn't. So very hard to tell the difference between the two. Now if this was gloss, completely different story. Now for a wash, I've got a heavily thinned Abtelung 502 raw umber that I use to thin with mineral spirits. And I notice I have it very, very thin. This is gonna ease the cleanup and I don't want it to make it overly filthy. I'm just uh, applying that everywhere all over the bottom and then I'm gonna let that dry. Now for the cleanup. Good old paper towel does the job. Just wipe it and in certain areas what you want to do is drag from the front to the back, kind of create an airstream effect. And here's the end result. Pretty good, but we're just getting started. All right, I've got some black artist oil that I just put onto a toothpick and I'm putting them into strategic locations where we probably have some oil leaching out. And with this, you can kind of look at some reference photos to try to figure out where these typically can be. And for this, I have a flat brush that I've removed almost all of the mineral spirits on it, so it's nearly dry. And I'm just dragging that oil so it makes a nice little streak. If you goof up on this, then you can just wipe it all the way off. I'm using the side here to just kind of blend it in. You could then manipulate the oil until it's something that achieves the desired effect. Once again, more dots, and we're just dragging it with 
just a little bit of mineral spirits on the brush and drag it until it looks right. And the flaps would be releasing a little bit of grunge and oil as they manipulate. So we're going to give them a little bit of treatment. Thanks for watching. See you on the next episode. Make sure you subscribe.